So this is a video on how to use the peel and stick interdigital pads. They were designed to treat interdigital neuromas. Just quickly, uh, interdigital neuromas are very difficult to treat conditions, four times more likely to affect women. The medial and lateral plantar nerves split and then they form these little interdigital nerves and I'll put up a few pictures that go between the metatarsal heads. 66% of them form in this inner space, the third inner space. 32 to 33% form in this. So almost all neuromas form in these inner spaces. They originally thought there was a higher prevalence in this spot because the medial and lateral nerves combined and they thought the nerve was thicker. Then when they researched it, the nerve wasn't thicker. It was the same diameter. So now they know historically they treated this. They thought the nerve got caught under the transverse ligament. The transverse ligament con attaches all the different metatarsal heads. So they thought that during the propulsive period of gait, as the toes bent, the interdigital nerves got tractioned against the transverse ligament. So then surgeons would just cut that ligament. They thought everything would be wonderful. But this, that operation wasn't that successful. Then a researcher named Kim showed that the reason it wasn't successful is that they had the point of entrapment wrong. Kim and others showed that right where the proximal phalanx, so these are the toes here, right where the base of the toe of the proximal phalanx joins the distal metatarsal head or the tip of the metatarsal head, the nerves would get trapped in that little spot there. And when you were in your push-off phase of gait, your body weight went against it. There's normally a protective fat pad there that would cushion it. But if you have hammer toes or if, you're, um, if your toes are dorsiflexing too far, that fat pad gets pulled away and those nerves get compressed. So in the past, they treated this by putting metatarsal pads here to offload the metatarsal heads. But you're off of metatarsal pads during the propulsive period, so they didn't work that well. So I worked with a friend, who, Matt Dilnott, who's a podiatrist down in Australia. And he, we both found that one of the best ways to treat interdigital neuromas based on Kim's research was to support the entire great toe, big toe, second toe, the metatarsal heads, and then support the fifth metatarsal to offload the sensitive spot that was compressing the interdigital nerves during propulsion. So we made this little device that basically goes like this. So and I'll show you how to put it on. The nerve, when you go off, and this is thick enough, and it's made out of a, an EVA rubber that lifts up the neighboring spots to offload where the nerve's getting compressed. Really nice because, again, this is a very difficult condition to treat. The catch to this is that it can be difficult to put on. Usually doctors put them on, podiatrists, chiropractors, physical therapists who are foot ankle specialists. Um, and how you do it, it does require a little bit of knowledge. You first take the insole, and if you've been wearing it for a while, you'll see a little wear pattern. And this one has been worn for a little while. The first metatarsal head is right here. The second metatarsal head, and you can see like a little spot right there. Second metatarsal head is here. And then the fifth metatarsal head is right here. You can put it up to the person's foot and palpate it if you're a doctor and push it like that. Then all you have to do is set this up so that you support all of those structures. So it works out with this one here that this is, we don't have to modify it too much. Sometimes you have to cut these down a little bit, but you can see I've got the fifth metatarsal head right under that spot. So all I'm going to do is make a little bit of an outline so I know where this is going to go. And then I bring it back down and I'm a little bit over to the side from the second metatarsal head that I marked. So I'm going to want to take off about that much of this, which is right to here. And I just take a scissors, hold it straight, and take off just enough so that we butt up next to the second metatarsal head. So once you've got the spot marked, you are going to apply it just like that, nice and light. If you just put it on lightly, you can move it if you want, but you double check it. Once you get it in the right spot, then you push down and then flip it over. Now when this person, there's a, a real thick spots supporting the first uh, metatarsal and the hallux and the second, 
and then a little lip supporting, a little elevation supporting the fifth. So you're basically creating a little pocket for those metatarsals to sit in. So now when they go into their propulsive period, and you can even see that little crest forming there, when they go into their propulsive period, there's gonna be no pressure on that spot. Usually you start feeling better after two to three weeks. And, and if you get it wrong, you've gotta take it off and do it over. If you press lightly at the start, you can redo it uh, and just see how it feels.